Greetings and welcome back to my channel. It is I, Erin, and today I thought I would bring you my February favorites because I never film a favorites video. I don't think I ever have. Maybe once a long, long time ago when I was working for Mary Kay, <laughs> I might have done one. I have actually found a bunch of products this month that I super, super love this month, last month, whatever. It's March, but whatever. Let's start with alcohol. Favorite wine in the universe, not just for February, but for my whole life, is Roots California Wine from Target. It's five freaking dollars. You'll have seen it in multiple of my videos in lieu of a beer of the day, has been a wine of the day. And the red blend is literally one of the most delicious wines I've ever tried that wasn't over $50, okay? It competes with 20, 30, $40 wines. $50 wines is fucking delicious. All of their wines are really good, the Roots wines, but the Red Blend is the one that really like, mm, God, it just takes you to a different place, okay? If you like a tannic red that's not acidic, do it. Just go, go do it, it's $5. If you don't end up liking it, you're an idiot, and also it's only five dollars, so just try it. <sighs> yes, beer of the day for this past month has been a hazy little thing from Sierra Nevada. It's I don't know if it's a limited release or not, but they have it as six pack cans. Usually, the limited releases just go in the multi packs, the, like the twelve pack multi packs. So I'm hoping it is not a limited release because it's really quite good. It's an unfiltered pale ale, and it's hoppy and delicious, and I love it. So yeah, alcohol-wise, those are my two favorite beer and wine of the day of February. Definitely delicious. Go check them out. Next, where should we start? Foundation. So I have two different foundations I'm going to talk about. One is more of a long wear full coverage, and one is a luminous, dewy, I can't wear it all day, but looks really pretty. I'm just having a lazy day or whatever. Um, so there are these two. Bam. So the Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Cover Camouflage Foundation in 1 and 1 Ivory Nude is the most full coverage foundation of my entire life. I have a first impressions of it. I'll link it there. I think it's up there. Um, for you guys to check that out, it is stunning. It is too dark. Um, so I do like to mix it with my BH foundation. These together, perfect combination. It does sheer it out a bit, but I prefer a more sheer coverage for every day. If I'm doing editorial, then I don't care that it's too dark, right? Like, that's fine. Who is gonna look at my whole body if I'm just doing headshots? Exactly. Okay, whew, beer's great. Um, okay, second favorite foundation of the month is the Mary Kay Time Wise Luminous Wear Liquid Foundation. This is an ivory one, which is the lightest shade. I love this. Um, I will say one coat is literally sheer coverage. <laughs> if you have perfect skin and you're just looking for a little something, 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 a little dewy, whatever, this is the foundation for you. I don't have perfect skin, <laughs> as you guys know. I have hyperpigmentation, I have acne scars, I have acne sometimes, usually just occasional pimples, not really like acne, acne, but I have texture, I have fine lines and the beginning of wrinkles, oh my god. Oh, who told you? Who who knew that wrinkles would start at 30? Who knew? Anywho, <coughs> so this really doesn't cover a lot, but it is buildable. You can do two layers. It will give you a nice light medium coverage, which I think is perfect for every day. Not at work. It does not have a long wear time whatsoever um, on my oily, sweaty skin. But if I'm just chilling, like going to go out on a date or something and I want something really glowy, comfortable, not super full coverage, then this is the foundation to go for. And I love how it works. It works really well. So yeah, that's my two favorite foundations of the month. Powder, ghost powder. Dudes, ghost powder is legit. <laughs> so this is the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in Ghost. It says, the natural heat from your body will cook powder over base foundation or concealer, giving you a flawless finish. So this powder will throw your, turn your skin white. Do not use this powder by itself. <laughs> Maybe as a like eye primer, 
like setter, but do not use it by itself on your face. Do not bake with it unless you're literally albino, in which case this is perfect. Um, I have one of the lightest skin tones I think that exists um, out there, considering almost every foundation shade that's the lightest shade is too dark for me. So if I cannot use this powder by itself, you cannot use this powder by itself. However, I love the finish of it. I like to mix it with my Airspun powder. Airspun sometimes makes it look a little bit too dried out and that really brightens and makes it less cakey looking. Uh, so I really like it for that. Um, if I had a darker complexion, I would definitely recommend the banana powder. I might get that for my wife to try because I like banana powder on her, especially to highlight like under the eyes in the middle of the face. Um, but this you cannot like you can they need something in between banana and this <laughs> for a normal skin tone like uh, it's a little bit crazy but I do like mixing it so that's why it's my favorite for that okay okay um, highlighter dudes 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 highlighter and eyeshadow palette is gonna be the same exact uh, company sleek cosmetics don't add with me right now. Okay, this is the Solstice palette. It was viral for a long time, uh, and it should still be viral because it is literally phenomenal. Like, excuse me, this purple highlighter is my whole life. I hope it's catching that. It is so phenomenal. The bronze shade is also really great. I thought it would be too dark for me, but it's actually also phenomenal. The other two are cream. True. No, that's the gold one. I think just the top one is a cream. But also, just like look at it. Look at look at it. Ooh, it's so pretty. Oh god. Okay. I don't know. Freaking out. Anyway, ten out of ten would say buy that palette. <laughs> it's like. Seven dollars. I don't even know. Um, eyeshadow palette, definitely sleek, beautiful sin palette. This is what the palette looks like. It is stunting. I have a whole video of first impressions. So I'll link it up there as well. Uh, using this uh, I do have one other palette that I am absolutely living for. Buy it before it's gone because I do believe it is a limited edition. The Anastasia Woo! Prism palette, so freaking gorgeous. Love all the shimmers, love all the mattes, love every shade in this palette. It's so much fun. You can do a neutral look, you can do a colorful look, you can do a colorful and neutral look. Like it's just, it's so perfect. I love it. And it's like in velvet on the outside. <laughs> and I think a lot of times it's on sale right now at Ulta because it is uh, limited edition. So it's backward. Bam. 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 Okay. This is the Worth the Hype mascara from NYX. And let me tell you what. It is worth the hype. I have it on my bottom lashes right now. Let's do a second coat. Let's just show you what a second coat looks like. Oh my god. I love it. It's not quite lengthening enough for my top lashes or, um, I don't know. It just doesn't give me what I want on my top lashes, but for the bottom lashes, I love it. And it doesn't transfer. Um, Sometimes I fail and like knock my skin and then it'll go on there, but it's a lot easier to apply than a lot of mascaras that I've tried. So I love that. Top lashes always and forever. Until I find something better is Monster Big from Lanco. I don't know if I would call them favorites ever, but for the month, definitely. Um, so this is the Too Faced Fairy Tears lipstick. It's like yellow, but then when you put it on your skin, it turns a different color. So it's really, really pretty. I like that a lot. It's definitely moisturizing. It's more of a balm with just some like pink shimmer on it. I like that. And then, <coughs> whoa, I have this dude over my uh, lipstick today. This is the Diamond Crusher in Lit. I love it as well. But I like the Black Unicorn too. Like the, uh, I'm puking and burping. It's great. I just love uh, it's a great lip topper and I wear it by itself too. I think it's really really pretty. I like this tone. It's like a peachy coral. You can definitely do it with like a blue eye look and then I'll give you that contrast or you can do it like I did today for more of like a complimentary eye look. Super pretty. Sponge. Sponge time. Makeup sponge time. Mary Kay has a bonding sponge 
it's damp right now, so it's gigantic. Uh, this, the regular size is literally almost the same size as this dude right here, the Real Technique sponge. Everybody knows I love it. Um, look how big this gets. It's insane. The texture and the squeeze, like how soft it is and how it feels when you squeeze it are different than that and the Beauty Blender. And I just absolutely love it. It's $12 and totally worth it. 10 out of 10 would say buy it. I'm going to get another one with my next Mary Kate order whenever I place that. Uh, yeah. yeah. I think that's everything that I had to talk about. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Faro, Facebook, Twitter. It's all at I'm a pluralist. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Oh, I, I don't know.